As more newly published books hit the market, plenty of older ones end up in the recycling bin to make room. However, a few do get lucky. We're here in the Bronx, the studio of Long Bin Chun, an artist who gives used and discarded books new life by turning them into elaborate busts and sculptures. Most of my ideas for sculptures are related to the kinds of books I find. That, and I've traveled to many countries, so based on the unique culture of that country and the kinds of books I find there, I'll make different kinds of works that connect to these ideas. Many of Long Bin Chun's sculptures depict religious icons and historical figures. He made his Ganesh sculpture while in India out of Indian texts. Indians love Ganesh the most, and I didn't realize until I went to India just how much this country loves iconography. I used Indian books, picture albums, and other relevant Indian books to make Ganesh, this icon. Not only does it contain cultural meaning, it also becomes a new art material. When I made Einstein, I also used books related to Einstein and his works. He has also made a great number of Buddha heads in response to the history of Westerners transplanting Asian religious iconography to their own museums. In the beginning, when contact was first made with China, they took the entire Buddha figure back to the West with them. Later, they began taking just the head. So it ended up being that these Buddha heads were in Western museums while their bodies remained in Asia. In this process, the heads began to take on a different meaning. So a little over 10 years ago, I began to include heads like these in my works. Using second-hand books, phone books, glue, screws, drills, and other machinery, Long Bin Chun is able to create enormous sculptures, some with the appearance of wood or stone, and others highlighting the book as an art material. However, it is a long and sometimes hazardous process. I use screws to secure the books together, and sometimes I paint a layer of glue on the outside of the sculpture. You have to build it so the inside structure is stable. Then it can support the entire sculpture and you can exhibit it for a long period of time. Carving books is similar to carving wood, but the most difficult part is that they're very soft and the pages separate. Also, although the machines I use are high quality, the carving process fills the whole room with dust, so I can't work for long periods of time as the dust is hazardous to your health. Born in Taiwan, Long Bin Chun first came to New York as an international student around 20 years ago to pursue an MFA at the School of Visual Arts, right around the time when the PC and Internet were coming out and gradually replacing print. He got the idea to use books as art when seeing how many were discarded by city residents. At first, I was retrieving them so I could read them. But then I realized that there were just too many, so I began using them as an art material. For the people with a Chinese background, this is a challenge to cultural traditions to a certain extent. For example, Hakka people in Taiwan pick up the paper off the ground, and rather than throw it away or recycle it, they'll burn it, since they believe paper has a soul. Besides working on a new side project of reading paintings, Long Bin Chun is currently exhibiting works in Texas at the City of San Antonio Public Library, bringing his second-hand book sculptures full circle. I want to go back to the library to hold exhibitions, because I think in the future the library will be more like a museum. Fewer people will come to borrow books, but there will be more exhibitions.